I went out and I cut off some old driftwood, just scraps laying out there in the landscaping. I want to show you a piece of uh, Ozark folk art. Just a little hint. It's Christmas time. Getting this driftwood cut into random short pieces. First of all, I'm going to start out and pick up one of these. And we're going to make sure the bottom or the base of it stands up fairly straight. See, that's got a pretty good... It don't set up too good. Well, that's kind of tilty that way. So that, that there is pretty good. So that'll be the top. And I want to make a mark. Let me see if I can do this. I'll take this marker. We'll see that. The same thing. Go around. And I'm turning. Can, can you see that little finger right there? And I'm just rotating it. Turn it on that little finger and not moving the moving it and it comes out right on that line. Same thing I can do here. I'll start right here because I want to see that. You hold that marker right down, that marker line is going to be gone. Everything you see here, little finger just flat on top and I'll rotate that around. That comes out almost precisely on that line. I say almost. See, you have my using the cuts all bit for all of this project. And I have these lines here. And I'm going to try to show you step by step how simple it is. Anybody, anybody, anybody can do this. The two marks you have here is all you need to create what I'm about to show you. This is true Ozark folk art, and it will look, you can make it your own. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Going to have to have some voiceover because I'm wearing a full mask here to eliminate any dust. My dust collector running, you couldn't hear me talk anyway. So let's get started with that and see what happens. I'll speed through the carving here. The real time for the carving took about 20 minutes. I went over to the drill press and drilled five quarter inch holes for the quarter inch dowels for the nose, arms, and buttons. Now it was time for painting. I wanted a whitewashed look, so I mixed the acrylics 50-50 with water. I chose green for the hat, off-white for the body, black for the buttons and mouth, twigs for the arms, and of course, you will be getting an orange carrot nose. Well, I guess that uh, does it for another video. I uh, wanted to share with you the final results on, uh, on what I made here. Now, the folks of the Ozarks really turned out some fine whittling in their day. And they passed it on for generations and generations. Now, here's my contribution to... Ozark folk art. That's a little snowman after I showed the carving yesterday. I didn't show all the painting, but anyway, there's the sticks we made for the arms. And uh, I did one more, didn't, didn't film it, but anyway, that's another uh, traditional folk art of the Ozarks. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, certainly be pleased if you did. So, 
for now. Uh, got one thing to say. I'll see you in the next video.